Hey, this is Amanda from The Fundamental Home and it's Sunday morning and I got up early and I got ready for church. Look at me all looking all fab. I curled my ponytail. And um, anyway, I wanted to come to you guys and make you a video and tell you what's been going on because Friday I did not put up my menu plan or even Frugal Family Food because look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what's going on. I'm gonna show you something. So that's our car, right? Our car we've had forever. I don't know if I mentioned it to you, but it died the other week. And um, yeah, that's a story. So Rick had taken the car to work at four o'clock in the morning and um, he it, the car died. Like he was a mile from work in the middle of nowhere. The car died. He had no cell phone and there was nowhere to like knock on anybody's door. So he had, and he couldn't even put it, get it out of park to move it into another place so it just like died it stayed in the middle of the road he had to walk i think a little over a mile to his job so that he could call someone and get a tow right so he got to his job and we sorted out the tow he called me sorted out the towing and we called the police and they were already at the scene and not happy that the car was left there and we, we explained to them what happened and they understood and it was fine. But, um, so we had the car towed to the car shop and when they got to the car shop, they couldn't figure out what was wrong with it because it started right up. It went into, you know, of course Rick had tried to start it and nothing was happening. It didn't, none of that happened at the car shop. At the car shop, everything worked fine. They drove it around, couldn't find anything wrong with it. And I was like, Okay, so I followed Rick home in the car and the car has just been sitting there ever since for a week. So what other vehicle do we have? Well, you know what we have. We have our truck. Which seats three people. How many people are in our family? Five. So when the car doesn't work and we only have the truck, that means that I am driving everyone back and forth because Rick has to be at work and Ricky has to be at school and he has two jobs and Brian had to be at work. And we have been saving and trying to get new vehicles for everyone. Not like new, new, but like used new to us. And, um, and so we had money that we had saved and we just had been kind of trying to find a good deal. And um, there'd been one vehicle that I'd been eyeing for a little while, but I hadn't really purchased it because we were just kind of making sure that we were getting a good deal. Well, this made everything get kind of crucial. Everybody else in my family was surprisingly relaxed about the whole thing. Everyone else was like, eh, it's okay, we can still take our time and look for a deal. Meanwhile, I am the one sitting in the car for six, seven, eight hours every day. Final straw came on Friday, this Friday, because the way everyone's schedule worked out, I seriously got up at four o'clock in the morning and I was in a vehicle for 15 hours. 15 hours. I was not a happy person. <laughs> I know you guys think I'm, I, I, and I'm, I tell you, I love the Lord and I try to do good, but I was not in a place to show that side of me that day. And I said, we are buying a car. I'm going to get the one I've been eyeing. I, I thought it was a good deal anyway. It's like, we're going to get it and we're just going to deal with it. We're just, we're just going to deal with it because I cannot do this anymore. Now this car that we purchased that I'm going to show you in a minute is actually for Brian, okay? Ricky is going to take the car car, the one that's currently broken that we are going to figure out what's wrong with it. I just couldn't figure out what was wrong with it and deal with that at the same time because I'm the one who has to figure it out because everyone else is working and doing everything else all day long and nobody can take off work and do stuff to do that, so that, that falls on me can't wait till those boys get married let me just say that so <laughs> anyway so um so the plan is is that the car that's currently broken is going to be Ricky's once it gets fixed and the car that we purchased is going to be Brian's the truck is mine and then Rick is going to get another vehicle probably a minivan because everyone is so old now um that a five-seater car even though everybody else can drive if we ever want to go anywhere as a family it's so tight you know Boys are so tall, even Brianna's tall. It's just uncomfortable to sit in, in a back seat. So, um, and plus, you know, we're thinking, you know, in the future we might have some grandkids or something. You know, maybe one day, hopefully. Not too soon, but soon, 
you know what I'm saying? So, so anyway, we're thinking about a minivan, and Rick's totally cool with that. He's, he's like the minivan dad. He's, I mean, it suits his personality. So, um, so that's where we're going with the vehicle situation right now. But I'm going to show you the car that we got for Brian. And here it is. Now, you will see that it is silver at the bottom here, and that needs to be painted. Um, we got a good deal on it, partially because it had hit an animal. It's not a salvage title or anything, regular title, um, but it had damaged the bumper, so they replaced the bumper. And uh, the person who had it didn't really want to deal with painting it. And we were like, great, we'll deal with painting it <laughs> for the right price. And we got a good price. So um, that's where we are. And I'll show you this side. You can see where it came up that side too. But anyway, we're going to have that painted. Uh, but other than that, the car runs beautifully. I didn't bring my keys, but it's very clean on the inside. Very lovely. And uh, I think it's in good shape. It has low miles. My dad's a mechanic. My husband's dad's a mechanic. And I asked my dad about it, and he, he agreed that it was a good deal. And... Um, and my dad specifically, is a, this is a Ford Fusion, my dad specifically has been a Ford mechanic for almost 40 years. So if anybody knows Ford vehicles, it's my dad. So, oh, the sun is shining on us, yay. So anyway, so look, don't judge my grass either. Look how tall that is. We've seriously got nothing done this week. Nothing, look at this. I don't know if you can see how tall all those dandelions lines are. But it's like... We, we gotta get some things done around here. But I've been on the road all week and the guys have been working and busy and it's just nothing has happened. Nothing. Look at that grass. So horrible. Okay, so for the moment, we are dividing up the car and the truck, like Brian's car and the truck, right? And uh, so we'll sort out everybody. And so I will have a little bit of time that's not driving this week and then I can work on getting the blue car fixed. We call Ricky's future car blue girl so um, we're gonna get blue girl fixed and then once that is done we're gonna take inventory of how much money we have left and figure out if we want to get a van right now or if we want to just Rick and I get by with the truck so we haven't decided that just yet because we're waiting to see how much everything costs and it's you know it's good that we have savings that we can just take care of stuff when things come up um, but we're kind of depleting it <laughs> with a quickness, but, um, but it's okay. I mean, stuff happens. This is, this is why you have savings. So anyway, so that is why the long story of why I didn't get anything done on Friday. And then Saturday, I don't know if you know this. So I don't know how many videos of mine that you watch, but on Saturday, I try not to get on the internet anymore. I, I've, I've taken the, um, I've taken the idea that I'm just going to take it as a Sabbath. I'm on the internet so very much <laughs> with YouTube and keeping track of the food family food Facebook group and all the other stuff that we do online <clears throat> not to mention the stuff that we do homeschooling I just I get to the point that I just can't even look at a computer anymore if you work online I'm sure you know that but um, so anyway so Saturday I just don't touch the computer I, I, I'm taking it as my Sabbath rest and saying nope I'm not doing it this day and just staying away from it I'm trying to focus on my family and uh, Trying to focus on the Lord and just relax. And then uh, at sundown on Saturday, if I feel up to it, I will go check, you know, messages and comments and see if there's anything pressing. And if there is, I'll deal with it. But if not, I, it can wait till Sunday morning. So that's why yesterday I didn't film either because after that week, I needed my rest, people. I know you understand. So, so anyway, so, um, but I do want to catch you up. I do want to catch you up. So let me, um, let me show you my menu plan really fast and um, you'll see what what we have been eating because I I'd started to do the menu plan and then of course things got crazy so it was just like forget it <laughs> but I'm, I'm getting back on track now we're good we're good so let me show you what, what we got going on with the menu plan okay the lighting is in here is horrible but I'm gonna show you the menu that we've been working off of this week so look here's what I got Okay, so Thursday we had leftovers. That was the day we went shopping. And we pretty much just ate everything out of the fridge and just trying to get rid of it. So then when Friday came and I was in the car forever, there was nothing really easy to quick and I, <laughs> easy and quick to make. So I told Rick, I was like, we are eating out. And he was like, can 
can we really afford to eat out? And I was like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so we ate out. So that was Friday. And then uh, Saturday I made tacos, which was last night, and they were delicious. And we still have some left. So today we're going to have tacos and hot dogs, you know, whatever's left from the taco stuff. And uh, we got a bunch of hot dogs we're going to have today just because I don't want something easy again. Monday we'll be back to semi-regular. I'm going to do crock pot sausage and kale soup. I'm going to try to... Um, copy the Olive Garden one. So we'll see how that turns out. And then Tuesday, I plan on making chicken with potatoes and kale. And I'm just going to fry the kale in the pan. Wednesday, I have steak. Now, let me ask you guys, a side. What kind of side do you have with steak besides potatoes? Or, you know what, I'm even open to changing it up on the chicken day. Um, I just, I'm not sure. Like, I, I guess I'm in a potato rut. Like, what do you have besides potatoes for like a main side dish? I don't know. So if you got ideas, put them in the comment section down below. So that's it. That's our menu plan for this week. So I think we got it kind of figured out. Never goes as planned exactly, but that's what we're doing this week. Okay, so that was the menu plan. So one more thing I want to mention to you, and it's very, very late coming, so I apologize. But Frugal Family Food for the last one for this past Friday was Jamerl Stewart, which the last time we tried to get her on, she had something come up, right? And then couldn't do it the last minute. Well, this time, of course, I had something come up, so I couldn't announce her properly. So do me a favor and check out right here Jamerl's video that she made. She made an oven grilled cheese. Now, of course, April is large family month, and... Um, uh, she has, she's going on her 10th child. If anyone knows how to feed a family frugally, it's Jamerl Stewart. So, and it's so cute, her little oven, uh, her oven grilled cheese. She had her little girl helping her. And, you know, I think a lot of times when you're talking about families making things, they want to do things together. And that is such a simple thing that's frugal and easy and, and you can all do together, even with your littlest ones. So go check out JMRL's video. S say thank you for making it. Say, uh, you know, Amanda sent me over here. <laughs> I feel so bad that, you know, she took time to do the video and then I couldn't tell you guys about it. But it just, it couldn't be helped. It could not be helped, people. You have no idea how crazy that day was. Mm -hmm. I needed Jesus. But today I'm going to get him because I'm going to church. <laughs> and, um... There's that. So anyway, I am ready for church. I'm going to try to upload and get this edited and get it out to you before I go to church so you can enjoy it while I'm there. And if not, that's totally cool because I'm not stressing myself out today. Because I'm giving myself grace. I'm giving myself grace. I need a little bit less hectic in my life. So... This is why, I guess this is why the Lord had me do the uh, overcoming anxiety and depression because I'm feeling a little stressed right now. But, <laughs> but anyway, I'm not really anxious or depressed. I'm, re I'm really actually very happy. I'm glad things are getting sorted out. And uh, there's that. So, all right. You all have a great Sunday. I will be back tomorrow, hopefully, Lord willing. Uh, oh, you know, I know what I'm doing tomorrow, but I can't tell you. I can't tell you. You'll see tomorrow. So... That's it. You all have a great Sunday and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also, if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it, because there's way more details there. And uh, here, over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by, and we'll see you next time. Bye!